Are you looking for the best free WordPress themes for your business website, just like this one? In today's video, I'm going to show you multiple templates that you can use for free on your WordPress site. Now, most of these are going to be focused on business. You can access them for free and I'm going to show you step by step how you can do that. And let's just get started. But first of all, let's show you my favorite WordPress themes that you can get for free. Number one is the Learn Dash Academy template. It's right there. You can use it with Elementor and it's free. Let's check it out. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. We've got some info here. Then we've got a product feature. In this case, it's going to be courses. So if you're selling courses, this is definitely going to be an amazing template that you can use for free. Then we've got some info about the CEO. We've got companies that you've worked with. We've got student um, like um, testimonials. And then you can see how many students they've got so far. So this is an online educational website. You can go to the all courses page to find all of the courses that they've got available. Here we go. You can then feature them and then you can let people join the courses as well through here, which is cool. The second template is a marketing agency template. If I scroll down, you can find it right here. It's called Marketing Agency under the Elementor website builder. Let's check it out. This is the homepage. You can see it has a modern look. It looks pretty cool. It's not really a standard website, or at least I haven't seen many websites that look like this before. So it's definitely a unique um, template that not many people use or not many people have made yet. This is the homepage. Then we've got the What We Do page. Now, of course, you can always change these but they're pretty cool. So on here, they've literally made an entire template where you can showcase the work you do. That could be a different like category within your business, or it can just be your business in general. They've actually put it in a few different um, categories, such as brand marketing, um, digital experience, data science, and a couple more, but that's pretty much um, what you can do with this. Then they've got case studies, so you can feature um, your student's work or just stuff you've done before with your business, which is pretty cool, and then the usual pages. Template number three is the digital marketing one. I'm gonna go over these real quick. So it's the learn digital marketing one. Once again, it looks pretty cool. It's kind of like an online education website, but you can always change that, but you can feature a lot of stuff. There are some cool infographics, some cool videos, and you can feature courses or other products that you're selling. Number four is one of my favorites. And once again, it's kind of like a business or like online education website. You can see this is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. I like the background. I like the look of it in terms of the buttons and all of that. Once again, it's kind of like made for online courses, but you can feature anything on here. They've got the headlines, the videos, the cool backgrounds, companies they've worked with, um, your personal photo with some info and then your programs and all of that good stuff, even some blog posts or articles. This is definitely one of my all time favorites and you can find it by going to Elementor once again. And then if you scroll down, it's called online programming course. Number five is the online cooking template. Of course, you don't have to cook, but I do want to show you the template because the colors and the design is absolutely amazing. This is what it looks like. If I scroll down, apart from this image and all of the text that already looks good, you can feature um, courses or products or recipes or whatever right there. So you got some product placements. Then if I scroll down, we've got testimonials, features, and the pretty like standard stuff. But once again, it's the about section, the contact, the register, and then the all courses. So you can tell by the ones that I've shown you from these templates that most of them are within the same niche. But what I'm trying to say here is that you can customize them and make them any kind of website. It doesn't have to be courses. That is it for today's video. If you appreciate this, please leave a like on the video. That would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more and comment your questions down below, and then I'll see you next time. I do want to show you how you can actually get those. What you need to do for that is simply go to WordPress, go to plugins, and then click add new. All you need for this is one simple free template that you can download. So if you go to add new, you scroll down and then you search for Astra and then click search, you'll come across the template that is this one, starter templates. I can actually update this, which I'll do right now, but make sure you go ahead and add that one to your WordPress site because that's the template that, because that's the plugin we need to get all of these templates. If I now go to starter templates, I'll end up right here where I can find all of these WordPress themes. Next up, we do need to make sure that these are the free ones and that they're actually in the business category. So what we can do is click right here, 
then filter for business and then filter for free. And what it's going to do is going to show you all of the business themes that are available for free. Now there's one more thing I do want to show you before showing the actual templates. And that's that there are different website builders. So we've got Elementor, we've got Beaver Builder, Gutenberg and Brizzy. So depending on which one you're going to choose, the templates that will show up are going to be different. For example, the Elementor templates are these ones. But if I go to Beaver Builder, there will be different templates showing up. So make sure you go ahead and browse through them so that you can find the best one for your specific business. What I'm going to do though is go to Elementor because that's the one that most people use. I'm going to filter for business and for free. And here we are. These are the best free WordPress themes for your business site. Let's show you how you can get them and how you can preview them. Now, what you can do first is simply scroll. And as you can see, there are a ton of them. So simply find the best one for your specific website. Now, maybe I'm looking to, let's see, to create a marketing agency website. We can find this one, click on it, and you can then see what it looks like. First of all, you can see how many page templates it has. This one has five. We have the normal about page. We've got the home page, of course the what we do, the case studies and the contact page. What you can do is import all of those to your website or you can pretty much uh, import one specific template. So maybe you only want the home page or the about us page. What you can do is click import and then whatever template it is and that that's then the one that you'll get. Or you can uh, import the complete site. Before that though, I do recommend clicking on preview right here so that you can see what this website actually looks like. Keep in mind, it's just a template so you can customize the entire text, but this is then what you'll get. So this is a template. You can customize the text, the images, the background, all of it, but it's about the template itself. Now, if you want to start using that, like I said, you click import complete site. There we go. You can then delete the previous one if you want to. I'm going to do it. Click import and there we go. It's now importing and there we go. It's now importing your business theme. And there we go, within a minute it's done and you now have a business theme on your website. You can click view site and you'll see what it looks like. You can now uh, get started customizing the entire template. This is what it looks like, pretty awesome. Click edit page or edit with Elementor and you can get going. So that is pretty much how you can get these best free WordPress themes for your business website. If today's video helped you out, I would appreciate it if you can leave a like on the video. That would help me in the YouTube algorithm and you would help me support on uh, making these videos. So thank you so much. Leave a question in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you want to see more and then I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Have a good day. You can also click on one of these videos in the end screens to watch the best WordPress themes for e-commerce or for a blog website.